Hello and welcome to the 71st tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at how to open a file so this could be a text file, it could be an excel file, it could be whatever and we'll be looking at how to open a file but we will show you how to also add a file to an Excel project uh, with Visual Studio etc it isn't difficult and you can ask us or find the answer via Google so first of all what we're going to do is simply create a simple file in text edit a new document and in there all we're gonna put is hello I'm gonna save it Let's save it to our desktop and I'm just gonna call it hello.txt uh, yeah put the RTF extension let's just change that RTF is like, uh, should be A-OK -okay as well, but I just prefer the text file extension. So to include it, first of all, just want to open up your project. So like I said, this is Xcode. It's different to how you would do it in Visual Studio. Visual Studio is a lot easier. You can find the answer by Google or just message us. But for Xcode, what you want to do is go to Xcode, Preferences, then you want to go to Locations. And then you want to go to the derived data folder and then what you need to do to go there is click this little arrow here and there you're at your derived data folder and there you put your file inside well your project folder and our project is called C++ tutorial and if we just go through it it will be here in a moment it's right here and you want to go into here you want to go to build products, debug and here you just place anything that you want to include so we're just going to copy and paste this into here and uh, that's that done what we can do is get on to actually coding our application so first of all we're going to need to include a few headers so we're going to do hash include fstream this is to be able to read data from a file, we're going to do hash include string because we're just going to assign the data from the file to a string obviously this isn't necessarily depending on what your data is, it could be a number and what we're going to do now, we're going to do std because it belongs to the standard namespace if stream and this is basically going to be the file that we're going to be loading so we're going to do file.open this is actually a good thing to use or a great thing to encompass within a try catch block statement which we've covered previous in this series so when you open files it's probably best if you use a try catch for the purpose of this tutorial I won't be and you specify the name and I believe it was hello.txt I'm going to do std string file output and we're going to check if file dot is open basically has it successfully opened the file has it located it and we're just going to loop through it and the built-in function into if stream which is file dot I mean not file dot eof which is basically stands for while it's not the end of the file just go through it and print out output basically put the files contents into the file output string variable that we created right here and then we're just going to print it out so c out file output std and line and what we can do is an else statement so else std file fail to open std and line and now we just want to close that file last once we've done with reading this so file.close now if we run it we need to open up the debug area and what's this moment about ah yes I believe because it's safety of RTF let's just have another go at that so what we're going to do is just go back to text edit 
create a new file. Actually, I'm going to use Sublime. It's a little simpler with Sublime. I'm going to put the keyword hello in there. So, that keyword, I mean this text. Hello, save that and to desktop. And I'm going to call this will.txt. Get off that. Copy and paste this to here. And I'm going to change this to world.txt run it. And we get the word hello printed out. So it's working a okay. But if we just change this and we just put like a number five here, this file doesn't exist as you can see right here. So if we run this, it says file failed to open because it got here. Did the file successfully open? No. So it basically printed out file failed to open. That's it for opening a file. In the next part of this series, we're going to look at how to write to a file. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. Email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.